Hi, welcome to the Collection Connection. I'm Nate the Great. I'm Last Spoiler. Dave Tigerman Smith. And we're going to be doing our special today on... Mini figures. Mini figures. Mini, mini figures. Yeah, the many minions of mysterious mini figures. Okay, go Lego Creo Mini Mates. What's better? What's classic? And what just plain sucks? And what 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 are these? Hello Kitty too. We got Hello Kitty. Those are from Miles's personal. No, collection. it's from my sisters. <laughs> All right. Everybody, comment down below that that's not true. <laughs> okay. Say that's my sisters as well. Wonderful. Okay, so we've got a lot of different things going on. A lot of different things to show you today. Uh, we're gonna start off with some. Uh, Different things that Tiger Man has, so let's let's get it going, Tiger. Let's see, first uh, we got the the Marvel Mini Mates. Let me tell you, in the package, these look amazing. They look awesome. Your favorite comic book characters in, in Lego size, but then you open it up and it's just plain uh, package of suckage. Uh, first you open it up and you're like, oh my god, I really want to play with this Colossus. And then you see, they give them a whole bunch of parts, but what, tell you... you want to do a screenshot with it? But they tell you how not to use them. They're not really... They're not really as poseable as you would like them. You know, the legs don't really move more than back and forth. You know, they fall apart easily. It's just a bunch of crap. And it's a shame, too, because they look beautiful. But as you can see with this rogue figure here, like the elbow articulation, the arm just, it'll just pop. I don't want to break his toy, but the arms, they just pop right off. And it's not very, not, not built very well. But, you know, in the package. They look amazing. They look amazing. But they also get loose really quickly. Here's a rogue. So that's his mini mates. Um... I think he's got the only mini mates that we have on display for the show today. They do come in a lot of different assortments, which is pretty cool. Here we got uh, X Men First Class. You want to bring that up to the camera? Here's a uh, a couple more from the X Men line. This is Havoc and Storm, the Toys R Us exclusive. It's got the Toys R Us seal on it. And here we have the Brood Wolverine with the Brood. This was actually the variant. That Brood looks cool. It looks awesome in the package, but you open it up and just... Uh, it's a piece of crap. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like opening it up to, to Dutch oven. <laughs> it's like opening it. It's like opening it up, and then it's just a piece of crap that you spended your money on that you wasted money. Okay, and Dave also, um, Dave has also got a good selection. Or I don't want to say good selection. He didn't bring them all, but he brought a nice sample size of uh, the GI Joes from Creo. Some Creos. Here's the uh, Trouble Bubble with a Cobra Trooper, otherwise known as a Cobra Flight Pod. Yes. I think uh, these sets are really, really awesome. Um, they're built pretty much like um, Legos. You know, uh, they they try to give you a little bit more for uh, more bang for your buck. You don't have a terror drone? Not yet. It's out. Is it? It's out. Wow. Here's uh, the Crimson Guard. This was actually... One of the cool things they do is the blind packs. Uh, these are actually really hard to find. But the cool thing about them is if you know the code on back, you can get what you want every time you want. Hey, that's cool. Here's uh, Firefly. One of our favorites. Cobra Saboteur. Here's Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander right there, which is actually pretty cool. Chrome Dome and everything. 
Here's the, the Duke figure. I actually put him in suicide pose with the gun on himself. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> suicide. I think the uh, the Creo G.I. Joes are actually a really, really good idea by Creo. Um, the Transformer Creos were actually really cool. The, the downfall that they had, though, was they didn't transform without adding parts, taking them away. So it wasn't really a Transformer. It was just a couple sets. So you've also, what else do you have? I have the Ninja Turtle Legos. Oh, awesome. Just about, he's got all four yeah. turtles. And, and a some... couple foot. I have the rest at uh, at home, but uh, didn't it's bring them. Like, um, yeah, because... it, it's a lot to bring. Yeah, it's like a whole entire city of Legos. It is. Like our garage was like the most biggest thing in the world. Yeah, for those of you who know me, I'm a big Lego fan. I've got an entire Lego workshop in the garage. Hundreds of pounds of Legos, of Legos, buildings, customs. Actually, made a, made a little bit of money doing Lego commissions for different people. Dog pound, which is actually a really cool figure. The thing I love about the Ninja Turtle Legos is they weren't afraid to make new molds. Lego's been getting a lot better with that lately. Yeah. All right, what do you have here, spoiler? I have the Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Now, this is a good set that came out from... Mega Blocks. Mega Blocks. And these, out of all of the minifigures, they have, like, a lot of different Marvel figures, Wolverine, Spider-Man, a lot of the Avengers. But if you look at this Spider-Man here... And he's just, he, this guy's got some play on him from spoiler alert, but he's got a ball and socket head joint, so his head, he's got all the movements, shoulder joints, elbow, wrist articulation, he's got waist, oops, took his leg off, <laughs> waist hey. articulation, uh, leg and knee. These guys are probably the most fully posable of all the minifigure and across all of these brands so and they've got the little hole in the back that you can plug in backpacks kind of like G.I. Joe's from the from the 80's awesome figures here's another one it is a uh, Green Goblin oh Spider-Man's enemies yeah one of, one of Spider-Man's enemies thank you Miles for those of you that don't know, he came with some pumpkins, but I think, spoiler alert, lost them. Sandman. Put him in chair pose. Iron Man. And the really cool thing, I, like I said about these, is the actual knee articulation that you're not going to get in your typical minifigures. Halo. A person that tries to get something from monsters. Okay. And then here's a uh, Creo. Optimus Prime, and like Dave was talking about before, they're really cool looking. Got a pretty authentic looking weapon, and uh, it's cool. The thing is, is that it just doesn't transform. And then the ones that did transform, you had to add parts. parts. You, would ba you would basically, the ones that you do have to transform, you would disassemble the entire thing as a as a truck you assemble a truck and you would totally dismantle it and use those parts to build a robot yeah it wasn't like one big hunk of something that you can transform into another hunk which i think if they would have put a little bit more more effort into it and here we have from mega blocks some zombies 
That's from the Call of Duty uh, Nazi zombie sets. We figured uh, Miles needs some zombies for his Barbie Legos to have tea with. No, and, and speaking of the Barbie Legos, um, it's been a, a pretty big hit lately, the Lego Friends for the little yeah. girls. Lego Friends, uh, Hello Kitty, they've got uh, Disney princesses mm -hmm. out, and uh, spoiler alerts, little sister Gwen, who you might have seen on one of our older shows, she's got a nice little collection of herself going, so in order to keep girls involved in the show, we're going to showcase some of Gwenny's figures. And it says Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Baker. These only have it's a Hello Kitty Baker. arm articulate, head and arm articulation. So, and these ones, because they are belong to a five-year-old girl, they're a little bit chewed up. And from the Lego friends, we've got the girls. The leg articulation, the legs are kind of stuck together, which is good for girls, I suppose. And the cool thing about the Lego friend sets is that uh, they've got little animals that come with them. A lot of them do. This guy kind of reminds me of Simba. And, and we're talking about the Disney princesses. You've got a uh, Ariel here. With Flounder. There's a person. The good thing about the um the Lego friend sets is that the, the actual furniture and pieces for the sets really, really articulate, really involved. It comes with like a, my niece got like a diner and it's got like a fully functional kitchen with like knives and spatulas and different things. So if you're really looking to uh, make an authentic dollhouse with them or like dioramas or something, something that you, as a girl, you would want, they're, they're really good. You know, I think it's a, a great toy for the girls. Um, I'm going to be showcasing my my portion of the of the show now. Mine stuff is uh, I've got some other Legos and mini mates and things, but I'm just going to be showing uh, Legos, and we're going to be spanning a couple different uh, collections that are going on right now. Mm -hmm. This is going to take up a majority of our show, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you know I've got these are all each one of these is its own individual piece. So this one is unopened right now. This is the, I don't know, I've been thinking about keeping it in the box just for collection sake, but Ghostbusters, and it comes with all four Ghostbusters in minifigure form, as well as the Ecto-1. Um, and I actually have a different Ecto-1 that I built as a custom piece a few years back that I have in my case over here to the side and um, the big thing with Legos that they're able to do is get the licensing and uh, and they do they do really well with the licensing yes and I think some of the first sets that they had um, I think their their brick and mortar was getting the Star Wars license yes definitely definitely so I've got quite a bit of the uh, Star Wars minifigures here. R2-D2, Dooku, Han and Chewie. And I've actually got some pieces in here from the very first set. A couple mini a Luke minifigure, Stormtrooper. Couple more in the Star Wars sets. 
Sound effects provided by the boys. <laughs> Stormtroopers. <laughs> okay, so one of my favorite uh, licenses that Lego is able to pull, it's now out of print. And um, what do you say out of print? It's not a book, but it's uh, retired. There you go, retired. It's the Indiana Jones line. Yes. So I was able to pick up a couple of the original Indiana Jones minifigures um, on eBay. And some of these are pretty pricey nowadays. Oh, yeah? If you're able to get like a uh, Mola Rum, remember Kali Ma yeah, yeah. from uh, Temple of Doom that pulled out the hearts? and Well, a lot of uh, out-of-production uh, Legos actually do go up quite a bit in, in price. It, it's really insane because not a lot of other figures really go up as quite as much as Lego figures do. Oh, well, Legos it, dropped. That, that's my second, that Ghostbusters set yeah. I got, it was my second one. When it, with The day they released it, yeah. I picked it up, uh, sold it on eBay. I, I got like a 25% markup on it. Yeah. Took the money, went and bought another one to keep. So, okay, so let's see what do I got. Let's see, a whole lot of those still. I want to show off this Indiana Jones, along with the... I don't have a ton of the Indiana Jones, but I've got Indiana Jones and uh, and his father. Then I've got some uh, miscellaneous turtle figures in here. There is a, uh, a, a special shredder that was released. I'll show you in a minute, Dave. You haven't even seen it yet. Pirates of the Caribbean. Color me intrigued. Yeah, check it out. Where'd you get that one from? That was an exclusive. I got it from the Lego store. If you did a, if you had like a minimum purchase on a certain day, um, then, you, they, then they gave them out as an exclusive. Well, you don't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and they also, um, one of the properties that I think they did really well with was, uh, I don't know if you've seen them, or The Simpsons. Yes. Killed it with The Simpsons. Yeah. The, uh, they were able to release almost perfect sculpts of the Simpsons, but really keep true to the to the uh, to the minifigure vibe, without kind of reconstructing them. You know, like the GI Joe uh, Creos. You can tell they're GI Joes because they have the costumes and stuff, yeah. but they still had to take liberties to make it into Creo form. But these Simpson ones, ridiculous. And uh, I had to get the whole the whole set, so I got the whole wave of the Simpsons, at least in the uh, individual mini packs. Okay. Um, one of the biggest movies of this last year. Ninja Turtles. Besides Ninja Turtles, come on, r rattle rattle me off your comedy. And then I'll get to my point. <laughs> uh -huh. Bring it on again. <laughs> Bring it on again. He already been brought in again. See, um, I have a clue. There's lots of minifigs in it. It rhymes with Lego movie. Wait, they... <laughs> they made a movie about big people or a little people, big girl. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Lego movie. Lego movie. Lick. So we were able to pick up a lot of the figures from the Lego movie. And I even got the wizard that came with the movie and the DVD pack. Morgan Freeman himself. Okay, now these are my favorite, the Marvel and DC Marvel, yeah. minivigs.
Again, with the licensing, they could do amazing things. And lastly, okay, so that's basically um, a showcase of all of our mini figure collections, or at least the ones we chose to put on the show here. Um, I'm excited to see what they're going to be doing going forward. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Um, I think Creo needs to step up their game. Well, they've uh, got the Hasbro licenses. They got, they got, but they only use two. You know, they use Transformers, they use G.I. Joe, and that's... Well, that's their bread and butter, though. But You know, you know I, I think they could step it up with... Masters of the Universe. Yeah, of course. But that's coming out of Mattel, right? These are coming out of Hasbro. Yeah, let's see. What does Hasbro... I'm sure they could get more things than just G.I. Joe's and Transformers, though. Um, if they step up their game, then they, they might be competitive with Lego. Uh, right now, they give you a little bit more bang for, for your buck, you know? A little larger uh, play sets for Good a little bit cheaper. Point. Great price point. Uh, that's what actually got me more into them, was I saw this really cool G.I. Joe set... And, you know, twice the size of Lego for about the same price, how to get it. You know, um, you know so if, if they step up their game, they're going to be real big competitors of Lego. Um, mini Mates, just plain suckage. Um, I was we, surprised to see you had so many of them. I think, I you, I think you're more enamored with the figures I, themselves. Yeah. With the, the, with the actual... Uh, the figures look cool, but you can't do anything with them, which really kind of just eliminates them. Uh, Lego's always going to be the champion. You know, you, you can't really uh, beat them. Which ones are your favorites right now? The mini mates? Even though they come apart? Even though they suck? I had a cool Ghostbuster set of the mini mates, mm. and the it yeah. they just fall apart. Like you, yeah. if you just sit them in a showcase in pose and don't shake it, like pieces will just fall off of it yeah. over time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really uh, shoddy manufacturers. Um, yeah. Miles was playing with uh, Cobra Commander. Okay, so um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, and and share. You know, if you want to show somebody about what we got going on with the collection connection, I think that's going to conclude today's episode on the minifigure. So for the collection connection, I'm Nate the Great. Dave Tigerman Smith. And we're signing off. We'll see you next video.